Welcome to Civil Liberties with Ron Madnick. I'm Ron Madnick. Uh, this show is shown five times during the week and also it's on the internet as well. Usually we have an expert who could be a lawyer, a judge, or the head of a government department talking about your rights and how to exercise them. But for the next two weeks, we're going to take advantage of an unusual opportunity. We have three young professionals from Egypt. Two will be on this show, and uh, you'll see uh, a third person uh, on the next show. We also have Royce Anderson, who's executive director of the International Center of Worcester, which is located at Clark uh, University. So I'm going to ask Royce uh, to start off uh, with. Um, what is the program? Uh, how do people contact you? We have three young Egyptians here now. You just brought back, I think, some other people from the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So you have quite a program. Would you tell us about it? Yeah, um, this is actually a very exciting opportunity for us. Uh, this particular program is a U.S. government-sponsored program. It's sponsored by USAID, which is the U U.S. Agency for International Development. And they're the government-related organization that works around the world in all kinds of projects to uh, build democracy, help people with uh, you know, everything from agriculture to science, uh, development around the world. And this particular project is based in Egypt and is d directed at nonprofit uh, organizations there. And nonprofits are something which not every society around the world have. Uh, we have a very strong nonprofit sector in the United States. And we see nonprofits as a very important part of developing a civil society. And so uh, we encourage the, the development of nonprofits. So the three people who are here from Egypt uh, now are all uh, involved in a nonprofit organization. Uh, mm -hmm. One is a human rights uh, law firm, <coughs> one is a community development uh, organization, uh, and one uh, is an organization that's helping the public schools there develop counseling and counseling psychology and putting that into the schools. Now, we get these programs by, uh, through the government ag again. Uh, USAID has a number of organizations around the country that they work with, uh, probably hundreds, um, and we're part of that network. And when they see a program that might be good to send to Worcester, because they know something about Worcester and its, and its uh, um, resources and benefits here, uh, they ask us if we would like to submit a proposal, which we did. And so we had the opportunity then to have these th three uh, young people, uh, young professionals come in, and we set up the internships and the program for them. Uh, and it's a month-long program. They're here. Uh, it's a longer program than we usually do. Uh, <coughs> but uh, again, we're very excited about it. Uh, the key word that we like to use is citizen diplomacy. <laughs> and that's the very simple concept that, you know, when normal people from this country meet normal people from other countries, interact, develop ties, friendships, and sometimes professional contacts, um, it's better for the world. And it, it decreases international conflict, misunderstandings, eliminates stereotypes. And you know from stereotypes uh, you right. know what that does to people's relationships. Uh, it basically builds better international relationships, which I think is a goal for people across the entire political spectrum as far as I can see. Before I ask my, my two other guests to introduce themselves, let me uh, indicate to the audience that starting the week of April 22nd and the following week, we will be talking about student rights. So I encourage students, parents, teachers, school administrators, and others to watch. My guests during those two weeks will be attorney Edward Newcomb. I'm going to ask my other two guests if they would introduce themselves. And Maybe something about your age, your family background, the schools you went to, your profession, uh, what you do now, what programs you're involved in, what your responsibilities are, anything along those natures. We always like people on the show uh, to tell something about their background so that people out there have a connection uh, with you. Again, uh, while normally uh, on our shows uh, it's factual, uh, we have an expert who's involved directly in the area we're talking about. Uh, today we have two, later another, citizens from Egypt. And it's very interesting to hear their point of view from where they are located. 
Uh, we read a lot about the newspapers and the radio and television quite often. To be honest with you, a lot of those talking heads don't know what they're talking about. But we have people who actually come from the area, so we're very happy to have you here today. So let me start with you, Kareem, and uh, tell me something about yourself. Well, my name is uh, Kareem al uh, I'm 27 years old. I come from a small family consisting of my father and mother and a younger sister. I've been working in civil society since two, uh, 2005. Uh, I've been a program coordinator at uh, United Group, which is a, a law firm slash NGO uh, since 2007. Uh, basically, uh, United Group offers um, legal assistance to NGOs, protects free speech, democracy advocates, uh, human rights trainings for youth and uh, students. So basically, we try to spread the ideas of democracy and human rights to youth, as well as protect them through uh, legislative uh, uh, tools, basically. So, oh, and um, what else? Oh, yeah, I'm an information system boss grad, and I guess that's it for an introduction. Let me ask you, just for the, our viewers, because one thing we like to do when the terms are used, we know, might know what they are, but they don't know. What's an NGO? Oh, an NGO is a non-governmental organization. Basically, um, it, in Egypt, it refers to civil society organizations. It uh, works in development, political development, or uh, community development, basically. Great. All right, and uh, it's Ahmed uh, Kalam, uh, Salama, yeah. correct? And your background? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Ahmed Salama Great. from Thank you. Uh, North Sinai, Egypt. North Sinai is in the north northeast of Egypt. It is about uh, two, two, uh, 200 miles from Cairo, the capital of Egypt. Uh, uh, I, I am married with two children. And uh, also, uh, I'm not from very big family. It is a very small family. Three brothers only, and me, my father, my mother. Um, also, uh, I studied uh, at university. I studied basically the English literature at university, at Ain Shams University in Cairo. Uh, I'm working as a manager of training unit in El Gora Association which is an NGO. Uh, I'm very involved in, you know, uh, uh, let's say, um, direct services for the community. Uh, my NGO is concerned with youth, women, children, uh, environment also. Uh, I'm my, in my work, I'm trying to, you know, uh, uh, build the capacity of the staff in my in my NGO, I'm concerning. I'm concerned also in evaluating the uh, impact of my of our programs uh, on community on our community. Wonderful. Yeah. We're going to talk about uh, what's going on in Libya, uh -huh. uh, and the following week, the show will be on about Egypt. Uh, we'll take Libya up first because mm -hmm. that seems to be more in a state of flux or movement than Egypt is at the moment, mm -hmm. as far as we know over here uh, in the United States. So let me start by first of all asking you a few other things. Uh, when did you arrive here in the United States? Mm -hmm. First, I arrived here on the 1st of April, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is my first entry to the United States. And uh, uh, my travel to the United States delayed uh, too too much because of the uh, the conditions in Egypt. We were supposed to come here on the first uh, of uh, of February, but you know the the conditions were very hard to to us all. Uh, a lot of programs were cancelled because of these uh, conditions. And how long will you be here? Uh, we're staying in the United States until the end of April. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah, the internship is uh, 30 days. Let me ask you, what do you hope to accomplish by your internship? Well, I, I want to, to, uh, uh, to be exposed to much experiences in the field of management, in the field of evaluation, monitoring and evaluation, which is very important for our NGO. I'm also concerned with uh, the idea of uh, capacity building for the staff, uh, human resources, 
uh, I want to uh, be exposed to much of, of these experiences here in the United States, with, which I think uh, very, very, uh, are very good and very professional. Um, now I'm uh, an intern in the West Side, uh, the, the Western uh, community in, in, Worc in Worcester, uh, uh, and there are a lot of experiences there. Uh, I hope I come back with much more of these experiences.